In the last video about how to fix file transfer for Android to Mac, we talked about two different methods. But I had some comments that it was not working for Samsung phone users. So that's what this video is going to be about. For this video, I used a Samsung Galaxy S5 on the latest updates, meaning it's on Android Marshmallow. If you also have a Samsung device that is on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, then this should also apply. If your phone is newer, like the Samsung Galaxy S7 or S8 with Android 7.0 Nougat, this may not apply. I'm going to test this out with the device with the latest operating system using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 on Monday. But we'll see here if this will work for the majority of Samsung devices. First we'll swipe down, tap on the gear icon to get into settings, and now navigate over to general. On the bottom of general we will go to system update, and download updates manually. It may take a little bit of time to check for updates, so I fast forwarded it here, and we see that the latest updates have been installed. We're back in settings, and we want to go to application manager this time. Here in Application Manager, there's so many apps, and I have disabled these select apps here. And that's because I didn't really use the Galaxy App Store, Google Play Newsstand, and the Sprint or other wireless carrier apps. Now, some of the apps, if you don't know what you're doing, don't just go around, of course, disabling things, because it's very possible to disable an app that will mess up system functions, and it will warn you when you go to disable an app, like here. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes it will show this message, and disabling the app really won't affect much of anything, but it's always possible, so you want to be careful. Now we'll go back to Settings, General, and to About Phone, and we'll see the Android version, model number, and security patch level, which should be the current month, or the latest update, which for me was April. On the bottom of your phone, there should be a button that is opposite to the back button. That should be the button that will take you to this menu, where you can clear out all the apps by pressing the little X with the lines through it on the bottom here. Finally, we will swipe down from the very top of the screen, and go to this menu here, Charging via USB, and tap on Charging, and now back up to Transferring Media Files. Now as we can see on the computer screen here, everything is working as it should, just like in that first video, just a few extra steps. If this didn't work for you, comment below, let me know what phone you have, what operating system you're running on, which security patch you're running on, and I'll try to help you out. See the Android vi the other how and then and then.